Howdy, howdy, howdy. I'm showing you base building tips. This is base building 101, part one, because this might be a long little series here. See, home shield, or home base, storm shield. This is the stonewood base. I'm just gonna jump here and show you what to do. Or, pretty much, give you a brief thing of it. See, you can jump to your base at any time, like I just showed you. You just click on your base and you go there. See, a lot of people don't know that you can go in and out of your base anytime you want to deposit materials. So you have materials. So when you do expand, you can actually build on it. So we are going to do a little walkthrough right now of my base. I already did Storm Shield or Stonewood Storm Shield Defense 10, so you can see what mine's like. But it never hurts to prepare. <clears throat> Check out the Storm Shield console menu to deposit resources, or return to the map. See, you now... You can leave any time by selecting Leave with Party from the Storm Shield console. Pretty much, she just said what I was about to say. See, now, you can just come here after you get done building. Just go down to the bottom there. And you click leave with party and you can just exit right out and everything you've done is saved. Now, I have completed Storm Shield Defense 10 and I only had one person help me out. So I'm going to show you what's left of my base. Traps are very, very important. Walls are almost equally important. See, I had floor traps all over here. I had a wall, uh, one of the mini walls here. I mean, you can see what's left. You can still see that there's damage, but I mean, I've completed this with, I had a, uh, one of those little electric things, those things here. I have one there. Those I should have replaced with wall darts, but I had ceiling traps there. See wall traps. <clears throat> You have to build defenses all over the place. I like helping people out, but some of your bases are just ridiculous. See, wall traps, when they spawn right here, as soon as they spawn, they get shot. The wall darts come out. Uh, see, that's one, two, three. They reach all the way out to here. Four, four blocks out. That's what the wall dart accuracy is. So, I mean, they can hit enemies all the way out here. And enemies spawn right there, right there, right there. Um, I think it was either six or seven they spawned right here on this little dirt patch on the corner there. But, yes. See, traps are very important. This is what's left of my base after Storm Shield Defense 10 that I beat with just one person, like I was saying. This was all floored and uh, those things, floor spikes, but the only problem is they got blown up by the propane tank guys. But I mean, I pretty much stood right back here and the ones that did make it this far just had to smack them like that once, twice maybe. And all the traps did the rest of the work. So this is the east side. And people, if you're gonna let other people join your stuff, please put healing pads in. I mean, just out of respect, they're in there helping you out, getting their butts kicked. So at least give them a healing pad to heal. See, I did this right here because the wall spikes shoot across. I had a uh, floor there got all this over here see these big ones are good because they actually shoot out three blocks so it reaches that block that block that block that block that block and this block so those all of course it would reach a block that way and a block that way too so these are actually really good you put it in the center and it pretty much makes a square where it can attack <clears throat> so like this one here will attack enemies that were coming up here and this one here will attack enemies that are coming up here and out here 
I tried swapping everything to those, but this was just my uh, first run of base building, so. And you got to put stuff up here. I mean, I had a wall there. They busted that down because they spawn up here, too. Should have had wall darts there. And if you don't want to put a wall here, you can op opt to put a wall here. So the enemies don't walk up here and try to get up here and then just drop down there and go mess your amplifier up. But most of the enemies that came up here, they came over here. So I put this stuff up here so that they drop right here. And if they dropped on this side, they got spiked, shot. As soon as they stepped here, they were dead by the time that shot them and spiked them. And I had a person up here. Don't forget to put your people in. See, you got defenders. And you got your people you assigned to your base here. So, use them. If you don't want to carry all the extra weapons, put them in your storage. I had one up there for that one. She was on top shooting down. I had this one over here for that. But one spot I really want to show you. I'm going to give you a brief tour of what's left of my base. See, I mean, this is what my base is. Look, nothing's even damaged. This is about as far as I made it, like right here. See, that actually almost broke five of 930 life left. Because that was when they were coming up here. See, I had floor spikes there. I had ceilings over here. I had walls in there, but apparently they all broke. <clears throat> they were spawning down here. So, I had more floors and more ceiling stuff. Floor spikes. I had four. Those got blown up by the propane tank guys. And I did have an extra wall here. And two more floor spikes right there. And you put some over there for that side because they actually go up that way too to get up here if you have an amplifier up here. This is that spot. Oh yeah, and I built this little one over here for the little stragglers that come up the side. <clears throat> put massive traps. As you see, massive traps. And I had... I put the uh, sniper lady up here, that way she can reach way down there where they were spawning. But uh, this is the spot I wanted to show you. Obviously, some of my floor spikes uh, got worn out. This spot, a lot of people have trouble with because they flood through this way. So you build a little contraption like this. I had floor stuff on there, I got blown up, obviously. I had walls, wall traps on there that wore out. Of course, that ceiling trap wore out. They spawn all over here in herds. Uh, Storm Shield 9 and 10, you gotta defend like, or you gotta defeat like 500 people over here. 500 plus people. I think 9 was like 525 and 10 was like almost 600. Of course, see, you put that stuff up here for the ones that are just walking around down here. There was a couple of stragglers that went this way. That's why I threw some walls up here because I tried going up the backside right there. But you do stuff like this, they're half dead by the time they get to here. And then all this stuff's already attacking them. So as they're flooding in, the, the ones in the front get killed. And then the, the second stage will get hit by this. And then the third stage doesn't even make it to this point right here. See, as you see, Hardly any damage. The traps are all still pretty well good. And you can pretty much just stand back here and the stragglers that do come in, you can just pick up right there. And of course, most people like shooting. So the big boys that come up right there, you can just sit here and pop off like that. No problem. That was the only damage that had ever happened to my base. And that was a smash that came busting through. I was over there blowing all them up. And then a smasher came walking up and then just charged right in. He knocked the wall down, but see, I put the wall right back up and I haven't had a problem out of it. 
He broke that. And that. And I did have one of those up here, so he managed to destroy all of that when he ran through. But that was the only wall that ever got damaged, and the amplifier didn't get touched because he got stopped right here. So I just blasted his butt right there and killed him. So not one of my amplifiers has ever even gotten touched. Took no damage, got all the bonuses for no damage. And then this is the west side here. Those are from the lobbers, but you do the same. You put ceiling traps all over, they flood up through here. I had wall traps on there, of course they all wore out. I had uh, the wall darts there, so of course I had ceilings up here too. Those got broken by the lobbers and the exploders. But they don't even make it to this point right here. So nothing back there has even ever gotten touched. You people really, really, really need to put traps in. This got a little damage from all the exploders and all these traps wore out. Of course, because there was another wave of like 500 people over here. But I mean, that's pretty much what you do. You put wall darts on there. So as they're spawning all over the place out here, the ones that are spawning over there are gonna get shot by that. And then of course I had a floor spike there, but they blew that up. And then by the time they come up here, you got the ceiling traps and all the other shenanigans here. So half of them are dead before they even make it to this point here. You can either stand here like me. I'm a melee guy. I stood here just pop, 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 pop. And then once you start getting overwhelmed, throw a healing pad in. So if you get damaged, you can pop on that, come back here, pop, 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 pop. And nobody makes it past this point. And for you people that know about the stragglers, I had floor spikes there. I had a wall there, but they blew that up. And I had ceiling traps here. Of course, as, as you see, a lot of them came this way during Storm Shield 10, but they never made it past this corner right here. All of that crap killed them all. So they never made it past that corner right there. As you see, that one damaged one point. But other than that, they never made it. So that's pretty much what you need to do with your bases. You need to put uber amounts of traps in, and that's from the uh, lobbers. And you wouldn't have a problem doing them by yourself. And of course, you can put your defender posts in. I think I had the uh, shotgunner over here because he was standing here shooting all the stragglers that were coming up this way. And of course, he stood here and all the ones that were flooding through this way, he was able to shoot too. Or you could put a sniper in here and they could actually reach out there where they're all spawning. So all the ones that are hurting this way to come up this side over here, you, your defenders can help you pick them off. And then when you finally jump back and forth a whole bunch of times, I see I tried making this look nice, but I started running out of room, so I stopped. <laughs> but I mean, it looks okay. This all was actually just like walls and stuff this is like my second time because i went and tore all that out and started putting all this in i was swapping pieces out so i could build it and make it look nice but after you get done see oh yeah another thing storage you got your storage here you can go through see i keep my guns that my people use in here and then of course i got a couple extra building materials and stuff in here for me but you can stock up on your bricks, your wood, your metal. You can fill this, your storage capacity up in here. See, right now I can hold up to 25. But some people, you start out with like 5 or 10 or something like that. So, I mean, you can just max out your storage. Just go out, harvest, go do a couple of rounds, max out 999, come in here, deposit it all. And then just go back out, harvest again, come back in here, deposit it all. And then just do one massive build at a time. Make sure you throw a couple of nuts and bolts in here because most of the stuff uses nuts and bolts. Started stocking up on extra ammo in here. But after you get done with that, like I was explaining, you can come and go anytime you want. That's all you gotta do. 
and everything you build is saved just like that. So, go to your bases, build your bases, put walls in, put floors in, put ceilings in, put traps all over the place. It is very, very, very important to have traps. Don't rely on others. I mean, some people just have like three or four friends that will come in and help them out. No big deal, you know? Well, it's four player, so yeah. Some people have three friends that they'll just link up with. Some people ask for help, so they'll link up and have a party. But I mean, it's no big deal. You can actually do these all by yourself. Or just have one random person jump in now and then. No big deal. I didn't have a problem doing all ten of the Stonewood ones. So, go to your bases, build them up, leave, come back, and then do your Storm Shield expansions. Some of you people, like there was one guy, me and my brother-in-law went in and tried helping out. Uh, I, not yesterday, it was two days ago. And this guy had three generators besides the main base and not one wall around any of the generators. Me and my brother-in-law pretty much had to go out there and play decoy. And the guy just stood back by the generator. He didn't even do anything. We had to sit out there and pretty much do all the work. And it was like Storm Shield defense, like seven. The guy doesn't even have walls up and he's already on seven. He expects people to do all his work for him. That's just not cool. That guy should have paid us. <laughs> you can't rely on other people to do all your work for you. Put your traps up. Put a little time into your bases. I mean, it's not hard, people. Just get out there and do it. All right. So, thanks for watching. That's a pretty much base tutorial. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more tips and tricks.